All right, Shalom. I'm going to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto you. How about Shema, Shah, by Shema, Kakwadash, double honest of the fossil man. Those are great millstones. Shalom, I'm going to accumulate the push the word of sincerity and the truth. Yeah, and this, uh, <clears throat> this devil, uh, Melinda Gates, um, you know, she's speaking about uh, black people must be vaccinated for COVID-19. This article speaks about how she didn't exactly say it, but truthfully speaking, when, when she actually spoke, you know, she spoke about black people uh, being first in line to be under vaccinations, you know, and Esau does damage control. Oh, that's off. You know, I accidentally uh, clicked off and, you know, see, this place is just full of wickedness. You end up clicking on one other page. You got the LGBT community, you know, all kind of folly, you know, as it is written, that folly is set in great dignity. So a lot of folly and wickedness and uh, madness. Um it's spirals, you know, it's spiraling all throughout the uh, planet Earth, especially here in Babylon. But you had this devil, Melinda Gates, speaking about how the COVID-19, um, blacks got to be um, first in line to get vaccinated. But it's, I'm going to jump into it. It says, Melinda Gates, philanthropist and co-founder of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, said that after healthcare workers... Black people must be next in line for vaccination for COVID-19, according to her story on Live 24. Yeah, and that's with, with, uh, without a shadow of a doubt what she said, you know, because it's all about chipping you tribes. That's why right here it says historic layout takes, oh, that one goes into blacks and Latinos, but it was a, it's a art, part of this article when I was reading it earlier, it spoke about basically initially, um, vaccinating um blacks and latinos it might be this one or another article that i was looking into but they're basically t looking to uh give put you first in line for this vaccination and as we know the devil you know i did even a lesson on satan's potions these vaccinations which this syringe a lot of these syringes <clears throat> they're going to use and, and put the microchip in it i actually did a lesson on that too you know you have different um individuals that's getting um well hell they already passing out chips to people in um if i'm not mistaken sweden you know and it, it is individuals that have uh, already got chipped too you know so this is going to be a big thing and revelation 13 and 16 is coming to pass you know right before our eyes this vaccination mainly being you know pushed on you blacks you know that that is a uh, plain as day that's not no coincidence man you know you didn't hear Melinda speak about the uh, blacks and Chinese or the Chinese and the blacks and the Asians, you know. Could have said the Chinese because what? This disease, this coronavirus, uh, it's it took place in Wuhan, in uh, the city of Wuhan. All right, where they, where they claim it was a sweatshop, but basically it was in China where this disease was um, contracted and the Chinese, you know, spreading throughout as well as individual tourists um that were in that land going throughout and and being amongst other individuals that's how this virus spread to be in a worldwide pandemic you know and of course we know esau works on both sides of the playing field so more than likely he financed this just like he financed both sides of the war you know to push this black vaccination uh, or this vaccination upon the um the blacks as well as you Latinos and Native Americans, really upon the whole world, but we want to start with what you, um, you, you, um, you Southern Kingdoms, man, because that's the hardest tribe. They know they know the strongest tribe. The scriptures speak about, you know, all the tribes are strong, but the scriptures speak about how Judah is the head tribe. They know the head tribe. Esau be knowing those uh, prophecies. They know the superior people. Who they're going to have the toughest time with. And if they knock them off first, everything else is just going to trickle on down easily. So they're really going to take this this um, war to the front door of Jake. You know, his um, blessing is the sword and he's going to use it. This one actually had the article too. This is another um, site. But even when you type it in on Google, you'll see um, individuals, a lot of individuals speaking about Melinda Trump and her statement. So this is like I said, this is prophecy coming to pass, and it's not just the white man. You have the white woman that's the devil that's actually going to try to push the plans too, you know. 
and 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 like I said, shame on you, Jakes, man, for trusting uh, this devil. You know, a lot of you, you Jakes, you look at it where you know you got some good white people, this, that, and the other. You know, um, the government is here to save us. They just gave us a stimulus check. You know, they're they're giving. They got me on welfare. It was one girl years ago. You know, we got into a big conflict about the government giving her goddamn food stamps, man. That's why the Most High is gonna judge you, Jakes. And it's really, it's really the Most High putting the spirit on 